Pisces. Oh, I better get the... <laughs> that is one of my husband's t-shirts. I'm going to move it out of frame. Right, that is the offending article gone. <clears throat> okay, so this video... Oh, another one. I got so many t-shirts. This video is a no mirror makeup video. I don't know how else to call that. Um, a diary of a 40 something, we were talking and she said, I just saw this funniest video, it was hysterical. So she said, why don't we try it? Are you No, she was gonna try it and then we all got talking and thought, let's try it. So, myself, Lucy Perkface and diary of a 40 something are gonna do this. So the premise of the video is that you don't have a mirror and you just do your makeup and see what comes out. So um, I have a towel, I cover up my um, mirror with this towel and I've got a million t-shirts um, and I'm going to cover up this front one here okay so I don't have any mirrors to look at I'm just going to take off pictures of my boys so cute right okay right I'm covering it up I can't see so there is no mirrors I can't see now I do have the viewfinder so I'm going to pop that down well, I'm going to take my makeup off as well, so um, I'll take my makeup off now and then I'll be back and well, let's just do that part. Okay, so you might have just seen a little fast mo of me taking off my makeup. It's completely off now and it's dried and we're ready to go. Right, let's get cracking. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of moisturisation and I'm going to use the Glam Glow Volcasmic because I like it. It smells like sweeties and it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's like sweeties but I, I don't know what sweeties it is. And this was the free sample pot that I got um, from the Glam Glow site, which is unbelievable because you get lots for free. So just rub that all in. Not major amounts, because I like it. Right, okay. Right, okay, so I have no mirrors. Honestly, and I'm not using the viewfinder, so I'm going to start off with my Amazonian Clay um, 12 hour foundation. I've had it for a long time, so I want to get through it, and I'm quite pale just now, so I haven't tanned. So yeah, let's go for it. This should be the easy part really, because it's only foundation. <laughs> How wrong can foundation go? Now I'm not going to try and edit any of the video, because, so it might be quite long guys, but the reason why I want to do that is just to show you that I am actually doing it and I'm not cheating. Right, I'm going to get my blank canvas brush and then just... I was going to say rub it all in. <laughs> but, um, okay, well, I don't know. Just put it on, I guess. Right. I do like this foundation, but it's not a massive coverage. So you kind of have to go back in again and again. Um, I have quite a few blemishes after the Christmas months, so I'm going to focus more on my chin just so that I get that right and underneath my eyes because I've ran out of concealer. I have my Ellis Fast concealer but um, it's a little bit too dark for my pale skin. I have to be a little bit tanned to use it or a tiny bit more tanned than I am. So I am very, very, very white just now. So that is that part. Pity I don't have any pale concealer. Just got in. I do have this little bit of NARS left. It's a tiny amount. I'm buying this very soon. I just absolutely love this foundation. So I might just put a tiny bit of that underneath my eyes for extra coverage and on my chin. And then I'm just going to smooth it in with my um, blending sponge. So it's Real Techniques Blend and Splunge. Don't think I said that right. <laughs> blend and Splunge. And then just over my eyelids as well, just to prepare them for my eyeshadow. My husband's next door doing his t-shirts. 
so he has the squeakiest chair in the world. So you'll be hearing it a lot, I can imagine. Right, okay, so we've done our foundation and I've done a little bit of concealing, as much as I can do. I'm now going to pop on my NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I'm doing a project pan at the moment. I haven't done the video yet, but I will put it up. And these are some of the products that I'm using just now are in my project pan. Which, if you haven't heard of it before, it's um, you use the products right till it hits pan. So um, I picked 18 project. I picked 18 products, projects, um, for 2018 and I'm going to be using all of them right up until this year, this time next year. So I'm definitely going to use them all up. This is one of them. Okay, so that's the base on. I don't know. Now I got a new um, uh, palette. I think it was yesterday and it was the Tanya Burke Cosmetics My Escape palette and I got this from Emma so I'm going to use that seen as, as, seen as I have just got it um, I've used it once or twice so I know what the pigment's like and stuff you have to be a little bit more um, heavy handed because it is not as good a pigment as um, like maybe things like Modern Renaissance and stuff like that but not a problem. I'm just giving my brush a little wipe before I go in because I've already done my makeup this morning and I haven't washed my brushes in between. Okay, there's a mirror on there but I'm not looking at it, promise. Just looking as I get the colours that I want. This colour is New Perspective. It looks like that. Now, you really have to put on a good couple of layers with this one because you don't get much from it. And I just put this on as a base because um, covering up any veins or any little blemishes that I have on my eyes, which I do have a few, this area up here is really saggy skin. And But I've had it for years since I was little, so it's just my genes, I guess. Um, and really hooded, so unfortunately you can't get a really good eye look to last. It'll look beautiful like that then throughout the day it'll just be folded over, you can't see it anyway. Right, now I'm going to go in with um, Wild Jungle and Treetops, which are these two colours. So I think I'll go in the lightest one first, which is the Wild Jungle. Can't speak today. It was so cold outside, um, I'm taking the boys to school. It was just freezing, so I kind of like froze up. Now I just can't talk. Right, I'm just going from the crease, I'm imagining this is the crease, <laughs> right across, and that's with um, Wild Jungle. It's so like when you're eating a, a donut, I don't know if anyone's ever done it, and you want to not um, touch the, cho the sugar on your lips, so you leave the sugar there for ages, um, but you really want to eat it. That's how I feel just now, I really want to look in the mirror and just see what a terrible mess I've done. Or it might be okay. Right, okay, I think I went three times over. When you have the mirror, you can kind of gauge how it's looking, how it's going on, the pigment. Right, now I'm gonna go with Treetops, which is a slightly darker shade on there. Bet I'm pulling horrific faces. Right, now I'm going to go in with a blending brush, I'm going to give this a little wipe as well and I'm just going to blend these colours together. Right, now because there might be a little spray back or, um, I hate that word, or coming out um, when you kind of like it sprays onto the sides and down onto here, I'm just going to tidy it up just in case. And then I am going to go in with the last colour, which is Master Plan. That's right the one down here. So this is the darkest colour of all. I'm just going to stick this on the outer edge. And hope for the best. Right. I think I'll do another bit. Right, now I'm just going to blend. Right, 
Right, now I'm just going to leave that like that because that is how I do my eyes in the morning for the school run. Really nice and quick. And I'm not going to make it too hard on myself. That's why I didn't use Modern Renaissance because that would have been scary. The pigment on there is insane. Right, okay, now I'm going to um, do liquid eyeliner because I thought I might make it hard. Why not? Right, so here we go. Right, going to find the edge of my eye. Oh. Right, I'm imagining that's good. <laughs> right, okay, now this one. The edge of my eye, here. Right, I'm not going to go over it again because that might just be worse, maybe it's good just now. I'm tempted to go back in but I don't know where the other lines are then. Okay, just going to leave it like that. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my eyebrows and that is, uh, I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit that I got in my Feel Unique sample, which is lovely. Um, right, okay. There is my brow. Right, start is there. Okay, other side, right here. I think I went down a bit, I don't know. Right, okay. I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Right, now I'm going to go in with my arrow pencil and that is on the lower lash line just to open up my eyes. Make me look a bit more alive. So I'm tired. Okay. And then I'm going to use the crown jewels and I'm going to use one of my spectrum brushes and I'm going to put in an inner corner. It has a mirror, I'm not going to look. Right, and under the brow bone. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if that is even the brow bone. I think I went on top of my eyebrow. Right, it's so weird guys. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to do some blush and um, I'm loving my blush from Birchbox, it's fabulous, it's a really really good blush and you just scribble it on, I need to give it a bit of a sharpen. Right. Okay. So you just scribble it on like a child, easy as that, and remember where you've put it. And then just rub it in. It just give me a nice subtle blush. Okay. Right. Now I'm gonna go full on ham and use my um, PS Bronze, which is my Primark pre highlighter, which I absolutely love, and um, a brush that I'm loving just now which is my um, Spectrum brush. I did a review and it's going up on my channel on Friday, so I don't know when this is going up, so you've probably seen it by now. But um, looking at brushes and the brushes that I have, and actually discovered that I have this, and I like it. It's great for putting on highlight, but this is a super pigmented highlight. It's insane. <laughs> You're going to get lots with just this one thing here. I recommend it fully, but you can go a bit crazy on the highlight, to be fair. It's just brilliant. So you have to be a bit more careful. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going in with my stamp because I always do it. And it's this one, I got it from China for like £2.79. Um, and I usually just stick it, I think, there. I think. Right, um, lipstick wise, we're going to go for um, New CID because I always use that. And um, I'll put on a lip liner just to make it 
extra tricky. So I'll use um, the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. Um, fingers crossed. And now we're going to pop this on. Okay, so that is that. Right, so now a bit of a brush in the hair. This is my um, wet brush, really like it. It's a great brush. Um, we will stick on some of my Batiste Frizz Tamer. Not that I got much frizz, but it smells nice. Right, I think that is it. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle. I have my Tanya Burr um, Snow, I think it's called, let's see, Let It Snow, and it's like a little bit of glitter. Now we may as well use it. And I usually just pop it on the top of my finger and then over my lid. The more sparkle, the better. I got this in my advent calendar for Tanya Burr. Love it. I think we got another shade as well. Um, can't remember what it's called. It's in my drawer somewhere. Okay, so I would say that is me done. So we've done the foundation, we've um, done my blusher, done a little bit of concealing, we've done my eyeshadow, brow pencil, eyeliner. Um, the final thing, can't forget that, which is our mascara. So I'm going to use the Soap and Glory mascara, um, thick and fast, Lady Mawa if you're watching. That is quite naughty. Right, so, oh, mascara without a mirror is super scary. And I don't know why I'm going into the, I can't see. I guess it's just a natural thing to go towards what you're looking at. Okay, I would say that's it. All right, so it's a kind of get ready with me with no mirror. So I'm gonna have a look now. Wish me luck. Okay, I like it. I think it's it's quite nice. It's quite natural, um, and I like the eyeshadow actually. I'm gonna have to maybe go and do that quite often. I do like it. But the eyeliner is a massive fail, as you can see, massive fail. I just went a bit too crazy on there. My eyebrows are a little bit skew with too, coming in at the sides. Never good. But um, the lipstick and the foundation and the highlight is lots. So, um, yeah, it was fun. It's not as bad as what I expected it to be. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I think I won't be able to go and pick up Garen like this. I might have to go and fix it a little bit, but not by much, which is good. So, that's it. Right, I'm going to put the viewfinder back up so I can see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit dark. Wow. Gosh, I didn't really even know the pigment was that. I practiced with the Tanya Burr um, and I didn't know my pigment was that good. So obviously I'm not being as heavy handed as I should be. Because if that was maybe corrected a little bit, it'd be quite nice. Alright, so that is it for my no mirror makeup challenge. I um, really enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, it was fun to do. I loved it. Now please go and look for Lucy Perkface's video and Diary for 40 something's video. They're going to be doing exactly the same, no mirror um, makeup video and um, I'll pop their channels down in the description bar below. Please pop on down in there and click on their channels and go on over and subscribe or like or comment or watch some videos. They are awesome girls, you'll love it. 
and if they've done their videos and um, while I'm putting this up I'll pop it in the description bar below so you can go right to the link and right to the video to watch it. So that's it. Thanks for joining me on this. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day and I'm off to sort it out. <laughs> See you later. Subscribe to my channel. Hello. Comment below. Press the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.